The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for Trade What You See with your host, Larry Pezzavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pezzavento. Okay, uh, good afternoon, folks, and uh, happy new year to everyone starting at midnight tonight, and I don't know who that guy was impersonating Basil Chapman, but I actually uh, thought I heard that guy say that uh, uh, the market was going to go down. <laughs> I almost fainted. Uh, anyway, you have to respect that man, folks. Basil knows his stuff, so be prepared, be nimble, and be afraid. Always be afraid. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about today, the first chart I posted into Tiger TV today is a chart from... Uh, Martin Armstrong from Martin Armstrong Economics, uh, truly one of the more brilliant minds on Wall Street. And uh, I wanted to uh, tell the story uh, about how I met Martin Armstrong. It was uh, 1988. Uh, it was the foundation for the study of cycles. It was a d dedication to their new building in um, Orange County. And Lieutenant Commander uh, Williams, who wrote uh, the book Astrology uh, in the Markets back in the 1960s, he was a director of the foundation also was Gertrude Dirk who I'd known for many years and they asked me to present my uh, my book Astro which uh, had gotten some a uh, few few small awards but uh, it was well received anyway at least by the people that I respected the most uh, Commander Williams being one of them and I happened to at my talk, I had a one-hour presentation, and I was absolutely, I, I'm never afraid being in front of a, of a uh, group of people, folks, but uh, sitting in the second row was Paul Volcker, and uh, I'm, I was literally, uh, I, was, I was literally blown away. Uh, Martin Armstrong was also uh, in the room, and uh, we, uh, I started my talk. And uh, I was very confident of what I was going to be talking about because I had the statistical data to back it up. And I was showing uh, basically the major bottoms we'd had in the stock market from uh, 1835 forward and how they were all related to the conjunctions and oppositions of the four major planets, you know, Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. And uh, we were going, I was going through those, and in particular, it was 1974 bottom, how important it was because it was a double bottom. We had, because of uh, retrograde motion, uh, we had uh, bottoms in October and again in December. And that was the low of the Dow uh, around 540 uh, in the Dow in uh, December uh, of that year, as I recall. Well, I was giving the lecture. This, this was a brand new building. It was set up like a spaceship. It was so beautiful. Everybody had their own light. But he had their own uh, phone. We didn't have internet connections, of course. That was long before internet. But um, it was really a spectacular place, all leather and walnut. And the the big screen came down where they, you know, ran your uh, your slides that you had. And uh, so I had the slides up there, and I was very excited. And you know, I was uh, you know trying to get into the mood of you know uh, giving some good information. And I had this 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 indelible pencil. Uh, this black marking pencil, and I started to circle these dates of October and December of 1974, and the whole room, there were about 150 people in the room, everybody just broke out laughing, and I said, uh-oh, this is it, there goes my career, I've really screwed up this time. What I did was, I actually wrote on the on the darn thing, it was uh, it was actually, I was I was thinking, I was writing on the, on the acetate, Itself, but I was actually writing on the chart. It cost me three hundred dollars to get the darn thing repaired, but everybody got a good laugh out out of it, and it, uh, I went on and finished the talk, and it was okay. But the funniest part of the whole evening was, uh, I hope you enjoy this because this is part of my history, and I think you will. But I was at the cocktail party, and I had uh, spoken to Martin Armstrong a couple times during the day uh, at uh, different different breaks. And Stuff like that. So we were at the cocktail party, and this young lady uh, was uh, standing next to me, and uh, I was standing next to, I believe, uh, Gert No, I was standing next to uh, God, uh, Ari McMaster, and uh, he's another cycle who's really quite uh, quite famous. And anyway, the the girl asked me. She said, 
well, what do you think of Martin Armstrong? And I said, well, oh, I said, uh, you have to respect someone who thinks that much of himself. I said, frankly, I said, I've never met anybody that arrogant before. And she said, he certainly is. I said, do you know him? And she said, oh, yes, I'm his fiance. <laughs> So as I pulled my foot out of my mouth, I said, how do I get out of this place? But anyway, I made it through the end, and it turned to be uh, really fun. So that's the, the main thing. Now, what I wanted to talk about is I put this chart in from Martin Armstrong. He does this. And you can see it goes out very, very far. But if you look at the dates on those charts... Uh, the key, key turning points in some of these markets, uh, and you're, when you're stopping to think that it is going out years and decades in advance, you have to really uh, respect them. Notice the March 9th, um, the, the third, you know, March of 2009. Uh, you know, we have something really big coming here in 2015, as you can see. Now, these can be a month or two or three or four or five months off because they're so far in advance. It goes out 20-some years. But if you go back and look what the type of work that Martin Armstrong does, you, you have to really respect it. The guy really has uh, the ear on Wall Street. Uh, he went through a very bad period uh, with the government for about six or eight years, I believe, and uh, they finally got that straightened out, and uh, that's the you know, neither here nor there. But he is a brilliant man and has some great information and is certainly well-respected. Uh, uh, revered would probably be the the more common word to look at because he does have the ear of some really smart people. What I want to talk about today is New Year's Eve and why we celebrate January 1st as a new year. Many of you might not know this, but this information comes from one of my dear friends, one of my students that uh, I had met uh, oh, about six or seven years ago. Uh, I was fortunate enough to run into this gentleman uh, giving a speech at one of the uh, Forex banks uh, in London. Uh, he happened to be in the audience, and he spoke with me, went to dinner, ended up coming to visit me in Arizona, became one of my students, and uh, we were supposed to come for one or two days, and he actually spent uh, 10 days with me. It was just enjoyable because he was very, very bright, and uh, uh, but he didn't understand, well, not that I understand it, but... I explained to him the patterns in Fibonacci, and he was very, very uh, appreciative of it. And so we became very good friends over the years. We've known each other's families, and we visit together as often as we can, at least once a year. But anyway, the reason for the January 1st as being the new year, I don't know if you know this or not, but we'll I'll just go through what, uh, how it looks. Uh, one of the star systems, Sirius, which is the largest uh, star system that we have, it's uh, the largest and brightest star in the sky, and there's uh, three stars within that, so there's Sirius A, Sirius A, Sirius B, and Sirius C. Now, those of you that are, you know, fun, uh, uh, have fun with Harry Potter. Potter, you know that one of the uh, one of the I think it's one of the arch villains arch villains is called Sirius Black is his name, and I'm sure that that's where that comes from. But uh, Sirius is uh, one of the, uh, the it's the brightest star. There's two other stars in the but let me get to where where it really matters. When we come into looking at the geometrics of the of the universe, and this goes back to the Egyptians, uh, Babylonians, Sumerians. And all of them used to look at that. But if we look at this, uh, the conjunction in January, which is uh, where we have a conjunction of uh, Ceres with the, uh, with the sun, and Ceres is uh, uh, three times brighter, uh, larger than our sun, and ten times brighter. Uh, that's how big it is. It's you know, a really, really big, uh, big, big star, and uh, it's a star, you know, the brightest star in the meridian. But if you look at this, you'll see that if you draw a conjunction, now conjunction is when you're at zero degrees. So when the sun is at zero degrees uh, to the earth, it is exactly uh, in conjunction with Sirius. And that happens on July 4th. And you know what July 4th is? That's the foundation of the United States of America, which happened to be uh, of the 55 people in the, that signed the, the uh, Bill of Rights and the uh, Declaration of Independence. Uh, 13 of those were Freemasons. And this is one of the things that the Freemasons uh, work about uh, is this astrology that we have, you know, with the new year and things going on with that. So this is how we come up with that. I wanted to post into the room today this one. This chart really shows because it's so beautiful because on January 3rd, you have the sun is opposed to Syria. In other words, it's on the opposite side. So on July 4th, which is the foundation of the United States, and then... 
January. It's actually it used to be January first because of the the tilting of the universe of the, of the Earth over the years, of thousands of years. Uh, it's actually on January third. We celebrate it on January first. So that's really what we look at. What's other interesting point is is that uh, the obelisk, that which is the um, uh, you know the Washington Monument on July fourth, that lines up exactly uh, exactly to the point of where we were. Uh, when when let me just make sure I get this right is when we are on July fourth, and the obelisk of the Washington Monument is exactly zero degrees to where Sirius is in the sky. So that's another you know reason you know why we're looking at. Uh, I've been corrected that were actually 56 people that signed the uh, Declaration of Independence. However, not many people know this, but Thomas Jefferson uh, signed it twice. I, that's a joke, folks. I shouldn't joke about the Declaration of Independence, especially being here in Philadelphia for the past several uh, weeks. Uh, this is I'm on a little street that probably Jefferson and Franklin and Adams and all these dudes walked on because the street's only six feet wide. It was only wide enough for one buggy. And in fact, the kid's house still has one of the, the posts where they used to tie up the horses. Uh, it's uh, very, very close to where Benjamin Franklin lived and, uh, of course, where he was buried. But anyway, that's what we're, why we have a New Year's Eve. Uh, it's because of the way that the uh, Sirius line it's up in the, the, the sky at January. Sirius is also interesting, too, because uh, it is the exact point of the meridian. In other words, the exact spo- point where the, uh, the the center of the Earth, you know, separates, you know, the uh, thing from north to south. Not the equators, but the exact meridian of the Earth. So that, that's uh, that's another really interesting thing that they, uh, that they had about it. Uh, Sirius was very important to the Egyptians because uh, it was called the Star of the Nile. And uh, yeah, this goes back 5,000 years ago. And uh, they, they, they predicted where the water levels would be based on the uh, planetary alignment of Sirius. So they knew what the seasons were based on these planetary things. So that's this, the little bit of the astrology behind the... Uh, celebrating the new year, and that's really, uh, you know, see what you uh, see what you have to uh, to look at. Um, I was very interested to listen to what uh, Basil said about the market. Uh, I'm getting ready to do my uh, year end uh, uh, ideas and forecasts of what I'm looking at, and I know the market's going up in new high ground, and it looks bullish to everyone. But boy, this is uh, it's like a it's like a marathon runner running uphill the last hundred yards because it's it's really getting scared folks uh, that's uh you know the bottom line of uh you know what we're looking at you know we have to you know wait and see if uh if that's going to be the case anyway okay on to the markets. Uh, one of the things that, that we look at, of course, is the euro, and we are really approaching some really interesting spots here in the euro. We're going to look at that right after we take a break here. you feel if you had a powerful decision-making tool that has the ability to find high probability trending opportunities across multiple time frames in equities currencies and futures search no more take advantage of the best trade with the taz profile scanner trade with confidence and clarity while using the software that thousands of institutional traders rely on to help them make the best and most accurate decisions scan over a thousand equities currencies and futures instruments for high probability trading setups utilizing the taz architecture as seen on Bloomberg terminals worldwide, the TAS Profile Scanner is a benchmark technical filtering system that thousands of traders rely on, and now you can too. For a limited time, for TFNS subscribers only, we've reduced the price to just $97. That's over 75% off. Subscribers will also gain access to the December 9th workshop with John Logan. There's no obligation to pay anything. Get your 30-day free trial to the TAS Profile Scanner today by signing up at TFNN.com. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments. And whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary Prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Okay, folks, we're back, and I've posted into uh, Tiger TV the uh, daily chart uh, for the euro. Uh, it shows the three drive to a bottom pattern forming on the daily basis. Uh, we've had several instances of nine-day rallies here over the last several weeks. Uh, we're now going down into the third drive to a bottom here, uh, which is coming in right at the 1.618 level, right near this 121 inch where we are now, I believe the number comes in uh, right at 12090. I believe, I don't know if it's going to be exact or not, but we're only a few pips away from there. Uh, however, what we have to do, you know this market is incredibly oversold. Uh, you can see that just by, you know, just, you know, by looking at chart, just been going down, you know, ever since uh, February, and uh, it continues to look like it wants to go lower. If we look at the long-term weekly chart uh, on the uh, which I've also posted, uh, you'll notice that uh, we have a, a situation where we have a target level that is uh, due to come in around the 110 level. Uh, that's where we go back over the last seven years from the high we made up at the 160 level, and now we're coming down to the 110 level. That happens to be the 61% uh, retracement of the whole history of the euro that uh, actually started in 1999 so uh that's something that we want to uh keep in mind here they are you know very very oversold in a market that has been you know coming down a lower high you know ever since hector up so 
it's uh you know it does look like it wants to go long however it did hit so far today that exact number uh, 12095, which is the 1.618 expansion number. Now, whether that happens to uh, mean anything or not, we'll have to wait and see. Um, we're having a little bit of a break here in the stocks right now. In fact, it's a little bit more than a than a little break, but uh, it's also moving uh, to the downside a little bit right now. I don't think that uh, it's quite surprising that the market is down uh, the last uh, three days of the year because that has a, one of the higher probabilities of um, you know holding uh, and in fact being an update the last three days of the year and the first days of the year are uh, statistically the six best days uh, of the month the last three days of the month and the first three days of the month are statistically the best days but that that that's what it is it's a statistic it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work one of the that people talk about all the time is the presidential cycle. Well, that's a, that's really good, but you know, I think folks, we've had less than fifty examples. You know, it, it's it's pretty hard to you know to uh, even though fifty is a pretty good number, you really need a hundred statistically to feel you know, comfortable about numbers. So that's what uh, that's what I think is important about that because the the ending in five uh, have a really strong probability. Of, uh, of going higher. I think it's 3% of the years end in five uh, go higher. All these statistics can be found in uh, Yale Hirsch's book, The uh, Stock Trader's Almanac, which uh, for 2015 is published by Watt. And uh, anybody that's interested in stocks and statistics really should take a look at this because it's really a, a tremendous way you know, to statistically look at the markets. And if you have a S, you know, the helps you to uh, come into it. But frankly, folks, i tell you the most amazing thing to me for Christmas Eve was listening to Basil on how he's warning you about something that's going to be happening, uh, get ready to box. Evidently, people were listening to him because when he came on the air, this, the, the market was basically up on the day. And when he left a little while ago, the market was down. So that's the end of that story. We know who the market listens to. And we want to wish Basil and Steve and everybody at TFNN and all of our there's a, a very, very happy new year because I think that uh, it's, we're really blessed here, and I hope that each of you uh, tries to do something nice for someone that you don't even know, a complete stranger. Try to do a random act of kindness here over the next uh, few days of the holiday, giving you through Sunday. Uh, you know, if someone comes up to you and asks you for $2, give them $2. If they ask you for $20, give them $20. Uh, my friend uh, Byron. Tucker and my good buddy Jim Schmidt from the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. We've been doing this for 30 some years, and uh, the largest uh, thing that we've ever had to pay out was uh, just a little over $300 to help a couple. Uh, but uh, most of the time, five or ten dollars or dollars, whatever the person asks for, as long as they're not smoking or drinking, uh, we try to we try to help. We don't go out searching, for it, but if someone comes up and asks us for something. You know, Know, then we do it. However, this does not go th uh, uh, carry through to the TFNN members. It doesn't work for you dudes. Okay, we'll be back. Uh, we've got the euro st coming off and stock pulling off. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach out levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hey, we're back, folks, and uh, we were talking uh, about the hero before we went here uh, for our break. And, and uh, someone asked a question during the break about the correlation between, you know, stocks and commodities. Uh, I'm sure there's some somewhere. Uh, you know, I don't really know uh, if there is one or not. Frankly, I am um, I'm risk risk averse. And, and when you're doing long-term studies like that, uh, I'm sure it's helpful. But basically, I try to tend to see separately. Uh, my specialty is pattern recognition. I know that well. It doesn't make any difference whether the whether it's five minutes, uh, thirty minutes, hourly, or weekly. I, I think I understand the patterns enough. Maybe enough to get into trouble. But I've, I've survived this long, and uh, so I'm uh, I'm pretty confident of you know things that I. So uh, that's what we're what I'm trying to get across here. So I don't really know if there is a correlation between commodities or not. I don't think there is because commodities are making new lows and we're making new highs. We haven't seen that before. And you would think that commodities are what people use uh, to sell their products. But uh, maybe that's not the case. Maybe it's different this time because of the trillions of dollars that has been dumped into the uh, dumped into the system, you know. Not really sure, so we'll wait and see here. All right, now the next thing I wanted to uh, discuss here is the Treasury bond and Treasury markets. Uh, this is a daily chart going over the past year. Uh, as you can see, we made a early sell pattern here recently in December. We've seen off having a little five or six day rally right now. But thing to see 
is the fact that the Treasury notes, which are the 10-year, 5 to 10 paper, is, uh, and that's the largest of the group. It's about six times larger than the 30-year bonds. Uh, and those are the ones that determine our mortgage rates and our credit cards and also the car loans and stuff like that. Notice there's a, a very significant divergence uh, that we've had here, and that's, uh, I think, very, very important. We've had three lower highs, which means that we're higher rather than lower, and, and that's telling us that uh, we're looking at probably higher interest rates coming here in 2015, whether that'll be anything uh, related to what's happening with the uh, Federal Reserve or not. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not actually, I'm not actually sure of that, but I don't think anybody else is. Everybody has their guesses, and, uh, you know, yours is as good as anybody else's. That's, uh, you know, much the bottom line. Now, uh, on a long-term basis, I wanted to bring up um, something that's in the news every day and making new lows today. We've made new lows again uh, for the run here, and we're very, very close uh, to the 786 retracement. We're at a buck or so, and that is Walmart's uh, that doesn't mean that 786 is going to hold it. It just means that uh, you know we are getting down to an area of support. I mean, the 38% didn't hold it. The 50% level didn't hold it. The 61% level didn't hold it. So why would the 786 level hold it? We don't know. We just have to look at it at that time. And that's where we can reduce our risk. Instead of you know risking a barrel in oil, you can risk maybe just a dollar. A barrel of oil because when it does rally, and we've had seven rallies since July, each of them was four or five dollars a barrel. Then uh, you know you see it rallied a dollar a day uh, in a down move, and then goes right back down again. So there's still a lot of selling coming in uh, to the crude oil, but we're very very close uh, on the long term parts. So we're within a dollar and a half. Comes in at around fifty one dollar per barrel, and uh, it's going to be a really interesting. Uh, market because when it does rally and you know Isaac Newton said for you know, what goes must come down and this has come down almost as fast as it went up uh, then we'll be able to tell us that uh, we'll get a little bit of a rally and the rally will probably be you know more than anybody anticipates it'll probably be around twenty dollars a barrel which is you know, nothing anymore to rally that much you know whenever someone waved a saber you know, across the Middle East, but uh, nothing responds to that uh, anymore. So those are the things that we want to that we want to keep in mind. One of the questions uh, someone dropped me email uh, for many years, uh, starting in 1998, I started to do a trade of the year. Um, I uh, the first 11 years I was 11, for 11 and then the last three years, uh, basically they were break even. They didn't have any. Uh, do one last year, but uh, from 2011, 12, and 13, I uh, had break-even years, no losses. I mean, they started, they started, the trade started well, but ended up uh, getting stopped out at break-even. But for 11 years, we we were really spot on with uh, this trade of the year. Now, I do one this year, and I'm not going to do one. But if I had to, what I would be looking for would be looking to buy a put uh, in Apple. Because uh, boy, the news is just absolutely spectacular for that company. It's had a heck of a run up. Uh, the loss of objectives measured to 113. Uh, it got up to 118. Uh, that pretty much makes a double top from where we were at 703 a few years ago. And uh, that's the one I would really be looking at uh, from a technical basis. Uh, I know it's hard to to, to, to go in the, the, the face of something as and as well received as uh, as as then I would, uh, but that's you know that that's I'm just looking at the chart. I have my little three and a half year old grandson. I wish you could see what he can do with his with his mom's iPhone. I mean, it's just totally uh, amazing. You know what uh, you know what it means. One other one that I mentioned uh, a few weeks ago was the uh, the uh, EWA, which is the E. For uh, the Australian market, that has an incredible with it, and I wanted to show you. We started to work a little bit, but I'm not sure uh, they're going to continue to work. But it's got a, a perfect BCD pattern, and at the same time, we have the Australian uh, dollar index is also uh, coming. Give me one second here, and I will get this up here, and you'll be able. To 
Uh, the uh, Australian, it, it, it's rallied about 5% off the bottom from December uh, the 16th, but uh, it should rally a lot more, but it's completed a big pattern, uh, perfect ABCD ground below July of 2013, and uh, that's a pattern that is uh, certainly completed. To look at this on a much longer-term basis, if you go back, you know, to 2009, you're not even down to the 61% retracement. So long-term, you know, the uh, thing still looks pretty good. But, uh, in fact, I should put this in here and show you what it looks like. Uh, let's just do the week. That would be the smartest thing to do, Lawrence. And we'll just put that one in here, and you'll be able to see it pretty easily. That uh, it go back to 2009, and you'll see that we are uh, just barely at the... Uh, 38% level, uh, again, which we've been at before. So that doesn't look too bad for the Australian market. If I had to buy a stock market, that would be the one that I would buy. You know, I prefer to buy them when they're crying and sell them when they're yelling. They've certainly been crying here in the Australian market because we took out the lows from 2014, 2013. We completed the ABCD pattern. I mean, that's uh, Mother God and Country stuff. Uh, and it's very low risk at this point. If it gets below 20, uh, the buy was around 21.50. If it gets below, uh, you know, a buck away from that, say 20.50, this would most assuredly, you know, be wrong. Now, I wanted to, uh, we talked a little bit about oil, but there's another one that's really on my radar list. It's just doing everything in its power to uh, try to do a discipline, and that's the gold market. Uh, last night, uh, we had a... Uh, yesterday, excuse me, we had a, a really strong run in gold. It took it up $35. And, of course, today what it does, it uh, brings it right back down to where we were uh, before. We're trading around that 1180 level. It still held up that level uh, relatively well. But it uh, it made a perfect ABCD pattern up here at the uh, 1211 uh, per ounce level in gold. Uh, that was going back over the last week. Uh, that was all within a dollar of the exact 61% retracement uh, at 12.12. So that tells us that, uh, you know, we're still in a downtrend. We need to get it above uh, 12.40. That's the real key level. I think if we ever get gold above 12.40 and ounce, we can say, yep, we're going to get a little bit more out of it than just $100. So uh, I was listening to Basil's comments uh, about it, and it certainly is in a downtrend by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, you just can't. You know, sit there and hold it because when it goes up and makes these patterns, which happen to be a partly sell signal up here at 1211, you know, you're foolish to try to stay there because you've got a a pattern that tells you it wants to go down again, which in fact it did. It's much the same thing as happening in crude. It just keeps going lower and lower. So you don't have to be a rocket scientist to, to say, why don't I wait till the falling knife hits the dirt, you know, before I even try to buy it. So after you have the bottom in, you're going to get some type of a really nice pattern in crude oil. The 786 retracement here at 51 and 5150 and change is uh, important, but you know, frankly, you get something else there, uh, you know, to lead you through the, uh, the maze of what's going on with oil because crude oil is making new lows, heating oil is making new lows, natural gas has just been absolutely massacred these last couple of weeks after trying to hold up at the 360 level. Uh, gasoline uh, is selling for under 220 a gallon in parts of New Jersey. I mean, that's just, just really hard to believe that we got gas that cheap. When I visited my grandson in California uh, in June. Uh, you know, gas was 512 a gallon for regular. Hello? You know, give me a break, folks. That's a lot of money. Okay, I wanted to mention uh, one other thing that's coming up, and that's this January effect that we hear so much about. Uh, that's when the small cap stocks gain on the on the large cap stocks. That's already started to happen. That started to happen back on uh, January, or excuse me, December the sixteenth. Even if we had the big move up, the small caps were by far, you know, the bigger bigger movers, uh, you know, to the upside. So those are the things that were. You know that we're that we're watching. Uh, you know uh, right now. Um, oh, one other astrological uh, question that we had that someone asked me about was the Bradley model on why it's having so many uh, uh, 
t- uh, tips and turns, you know, during the, uh, you know, during the uh, time of the first six or seven months of the year. I have no idea. I just do the Bradley model like Bradley said to do it, and that's all I do is look at those energy points. We'll see how they see how they start. We got a caller from uh, Brent in California. Brent, are you there? Oh, I am, Larry. Oh, happy New Year to you, my friend. Same to you, Larry. That's what really the main reason I was calling is to wish you a happy New Year. Well, thank you. Um, I did have something off topic I wanted to ask you from stocks. Sure. There's uh, the movie. I assume you're familiar with it, a Christmas story. Oh, sure. I think the whole world's familiar with that one. <laughs> I just feel like it's. Uh, I know it's based in Indiana and it was around the time that you're during your childhood. Yes. Yeah, it seemed like it was. <laughs> must have had some things you could relate with. I'm assuming with the just a pretty funny movie. I liked it. Oh, it's, it's uh, one of the greatest. Yes, for sure. <laughs> well, all right. Just you, you have yourself a happy New Year and and the best to your family. Thank you, Brent, and to your family too, my friend. Happy New Year to you and for 2015 and far beyond. All right, you take care. You bet. Right, okay, sorry. we got a we got another caller from. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Tony, Hi, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Larry. How you doing? I'm good. I'm sitting right here. Uh, Happy New Year. Near, Happy New Year to you. What part of Philly are you in? Uh, well, I work in northeast Philly, and I live in the northeast suburbs in Huntington Valley. Oh, okay, because we're, we're right in the city center uh, area, so uh, it's, uh, it's a... It's a I can't, get, you can't get used to these cobblestone streets that are 300 years old, but uh, it's it's really a it's really a fun city. We're going to take the little ones to the fireworks at the square, so that'll be fun. So we're looking forward to. Th- what can I do for you, my friend? Well, I had a, a question on Buffalo Wild Wings. I just went short it this morning at 183.50. What is the symbol on that, Tony? B like boy, W like wing, L like Larry. And be like David. Be like David. And I was looking at it on a B W L D. Yes, and I was looking at it on a weekly basis, uh, looking at uh, a five-point wave pattern starting at the end of the first quarter in in March. Okay, give me one second here. I don't follow that. Uh, I am the only member of the family that doesn't like chicken wings, but. that's just the way it goes. I have to refresh this to get the data to come up, and then I'll be okay. I think it's this one. Oh my God, that is a beautiful five wave. Yeah, I'd sell the heck out of this. I wouldn't even. Uh, I wouldn't even bother. Let me let me let me draw it in for you because it's a it's a really beauty. Um, boy, if this isn't it, it's real close. That's all I can tell you. And you not only that, but you've been here for six days at uh, one eighty three. I would risk more than six dollars on this. But this, yeah, could, this I, I put have, a stop in at one eighty five ten. Yeah, that, there you go. That's that's what I would do. But this has got um, this has got it. This has really got everything that you want. The only thing that you have to worry about is that January, uh, you know, euphoria that sometimes we get. You know, we're not having it today, of course. We could have it. You know, rear its head again on Friday, and then uh, again on uh, Tuesday, and then we have a full moon. Uh, on Monday, so uh, that that could be real interesting. But I, I like this. I think you've been here for five days. If you miss it, just try it again because it's 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 got all the things that you could ask for. Okay, great, great. Well, have a happy New Year, and thank you for taking my call. Thank you, Tony. Happy New Year to you too. Bye bye now. Thank you. Bye bye. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how Everbank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? Everbank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? Everbank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender.
Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long Long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and the power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Up next, the Diagnostics Trading Hour with Daryl Martin here on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we've had a question about silver. Um, I posted it into uh, Tiger TV, the daily chart on silver. Uh, we've been looking at the potential head and shoulders pattern uh, over the past uh, oh, three or four weeks uh, to form. Um, and if you look at that daily chart it still has the potential to do that uh, however one of the things that i try to do when i'm watching these patterns is to go to a, uh, a little bit um, shorter time frame so what i do is i go down to a four hour chart uh, and as you can see that head and shoulders pattern came down within uh, four cents of the exact 61 percent retracement and then what happened it made a perfect a b c d pattern uh, fulfilling yesterday uh up there at that 16.45 per ounce level, and now we've dropped about uh, 80 cents an ounce uh, just in this last few hours of trading, the last uh, eight or nine hours of trading, and that looks like we're getting ready to attempt that $15 and uh, 40 cents uh, level per ounce again in silver. If that's the case, it still has a chance to fulfill it, but it's a little disappointing because we can only make that little ABCD pattern over the time frame from December. Uh, 21st uh, to December 30th. That should have been a lot stronger. Uh, gold, on the other hand, you know, went all the way up, touched touched that old high from December 9th with just within a few dollars. So uh, silver is still lagging, you know, as is copper and all the other all the other metals, palladium and platinum and everything else is uh, also under a great deal of pressure. So it's uh, it's going to be interesting. You know, if this does hold, but Basil made a good point. You know, that the trend in silver is down. The 
trend in gold is down. All I'm doing is, is saying, okay, this could be. And the only reason I'm saying that is, is that we hit that 61% retracement four times in gold over the past uh, two years, down at that 11, 1160 level. 1170 with the low being 1131 per ounce, uh, that means something to me. We were able to rally $110 very quickly, but we've been able to give 61% of that back also very quickly. So you have to be able to, you know, to respect that. Um, I think when we'll, I won't be on the show. Oh, yeah, I will be on the show Monday. Uh, no, no show Friday. I'm going to give everybody the day off tomorrow. Uh, enjoy your families and your friends. And like I mentioned before, is be sure you do something, uh, do, a, do a random act of uh, kindness for somebody, folks. You won't believe how good it'll make you feel. I know you have more than you ever need in doing what you're doing with your families and everything because you're here with this TFN family. So, you know, pick somebody out, and not necessarily a neighbor, but a, but a stranger. You know, someone on the street that, you know, looks like they need help, and just uh, do a random act of kindness. You'll be surprised, you know, how good you'll feel. It's uh, it's really something we've trained our children to do this, and uh, it's been uh, paid many dividends, uh, you know, through the years. So you want to be able to uh, to try to do that for everyone else. Uh, on Monday show, I'm going to uh, go over the things that I'm seeing in the stock market. I certainly look. It's something that looks very, very scary to me, folks. Uh, it really does. Uh, I know these markets are up in new high ground, some of them, but we've still not made a new high in the New York Stock Exchange Index. That's the third time we've had this divergence. We've never had two. Now we have three. And so uh, here we are coming into the new year. We'll, we'll have to uh, see what it's going to be. The Bradley model is telling us it's not going to be straight up or straight and it's going to be rather choppy, which is okay, because that's what pattern recognition really uh, shows its head to be superior to most other methodologies is when you have a choppy market, because you see these expansions and contractions, and those are what makes it uh, you know, very, very fun to be on the pattern recognition side. So uh, let's keep that in mind. And uh, thank God we've got some great teachers here at TFNN with Tom and Steve and everybody. I mean, they're just... Basil, they're they're just all doing a great job. So happy new year to everyone and may God bless. <laughs>